Hi everyone, today we're going to be unboxing and setting up the Two Trees TT-1S Mini 3D printer. This is a 12 volts 3D printer with a cantilever design and a Bowden setup using a Titan extruder clone. It is running a closed source firmware on a 32-bit board with a 3.5 inch LCD touchscreen. This has a print size of 180 millimeters by 180 millimeters with a height of 180 millimeters. This is a non-heated bed. A few of the features this 3D printer provide are carrying a handle, a X-axis belt adjuster and a spool holder. This is a 3D printer that's aimed at total beginners by two trees. Let's find out how easy it is to set up out the box. Let's get started. Okay, let's have a look what's inside. Okay, this is their Right, anyways, put that to the side for now. It's got a USB, so USB to USB A cable. We've got all these sort of accessories put it together. They've even thrown in a micro SD card, 4 gigabyte unbranded SD card reader, uh, and a little bit of Jiffy tubing. 200 grams Sky Blue PLA. What have we got here? I think this is part of the um, uh, the spool holder. Got AC adapter, and they're using a plug that goes into this. So hopefully we'll be able to change this to use a normal PSU. Uh, this these uh, barrel jacks are only rated to five amps. Right, this seems to be the yeah part of the cantilever, it's the arm, and that's the uh, Z screw, it's the rod, and that looks like there's a little bit of damage there on the frame on, on aluminium frame. Nothing on this side, but on this side. Right, that's there was something rattling on the uh, on the box, and I guess it's the spool holder. Right, let's have a look. More more nuts. Right, we've got the uh, hot tin, not the extruder. It looks like it's got one, two, three fans. That's the rest of the cantilever. So let's move this to the side. Let's just put the printer in. Right. You can see a limits switch. And you, I can see right away that this is not straight and nor is these belts. This belt is loose. There's nothing on the box. Sometimes you usually look for any other screws. Right, at least they they wrapped it. So here's the Titan extruder. And it's Yusong Shine, the NEMA 17. There we go. Let's see how well that goes. I can tell right away this is loose. Right, is there any way? Oh, you can tighten it. At least at least there's that one. You can tighten this. Let's have a look at the movement of this. Well, it's moving okay. Can't feel any spots, but it definitely needs to be tightened. There you go. So that's that. It looks 
a bit loose. Okay, that's that isn't Right, let's put the uh, Z screw in. At least uh, it came wrapped. This has the same as the King Room KP3S, the coupler, same Z screw coupler. Okay, this is tight. Right, so now we're going to fix this onto the carriage, so, which is on the other side. Not really the best design. Thank you. 
yeah, that's not a great noise. x-axis extruder and well this is meant to be here so basically this is the Z end stop. This is basically wrong side. Right, let's put the uh, bed down. Okay, so this is their sheet, and if I haven't said it before, this bed is not uh, heated. This is a 12 volt printer, so this comes with an AC adapter, which is a barrel jack goes fits right into this side. So there's a micro SD card slot here. This is a mini USB D, and then there's the barrel jack with a 12 volt adapter. Right, so that's the uh, printer set up. Uh, let's power it on. You can hear how noisy that is. We need to open up this box, so make sure that you remove the four screws on this. There is no fan attached, so don't worry about it. Once you open up, you can see that we've got an MKS Robin Nano version 1.2. It also comes with separate drivers, the A4988, and you get MKS Robin TFT35. 